Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial. So we're going to be working on the other axis for our camera today and hopefully get on to movement. Uh, so we can actually start moving our character around using the new input system. Uh, if you get stuck during any of it, obviously feel free to join the Discord. There'll be a link in the description. All right, so carrying on from where we left off, let's just go back into our character controller script. Um, and we're going to be doing something very similar to what we did with the X over here, except obviously we're going to be doing it with the Y. The Y is a little bit different, we're actually going to be rotating the player instead of the camera. Um, so that way when we move forward the actual character rotates um, and our camera will rotate with the Y axis of the uh, of the mouse. So it should work quite well together. So we're just going to pretty much do the same thing. So we're going to go to this vector 3 here that we created for the new camera rotation and we're basically going to create the same. So I'm going to create another private vector 3. Still can't spell private. <laughs> and I'm just going to call this new player rotation. Or let's uh, instead of player rotation, let's call that character rotation. Okay. I'm going to go back down here to calculate view. Um, I'm going to be doing something similar, so let's just quickly go back into Unity and we'll check which axis we're going to need to rotate. So we want to rotate the Y axis. So I know it gets a little bit confusing in terms of moving it up and down as the X and moving it left and right as the Y. Um, so let's go ahead and modify the, our new character rotation um, and it's the Y we want to modify. So what we're going to be setting it to is similar to the below. So we'll do player settings dot view sensitivity um, and we'll do X instead. And we'll be timesing that by our input underscore view dot X. So left and right with our mouse um, and then times that by time dot delta time. All right, so we obviously don't need to clamp this value. So uh, we can skip this step here. Um, so we just need to move on to this step. So we'll just do uh, transform dot rotation equals, um, and then we need to do exactly what we did down here. So I'm just going to copy that and paste that here, except instead of new camera rotation, we want new character rotation. All right, so the only thing really left to do is give it a default value. So we'll go down here um, into our awake, and we'll just set it to transform position uh, sorry <laughs> dot local rotation um, and then again we want to get the earlier angles okay um, so because I'm getting the local rotation up here let's just make sure uh, that when we set the rotation we set the local rotation there we go. So nice and simple. Uh, let's just, um, no, actually that, that should be fine. Let, let's go ahead and test it. So I'm just gonna hit play. We'll see how this goes. Make sure that our view X sensitivity is set. And it looks like I can look left and right. Cool. So the only, th the only thing really left to do is set up these inverted booleans. Um, so from what I could tell, um, looking up and down, uh, that seemed to be inverted anyway. Uh, so let's quickly set that to not invert. So where we set the camera rotation dot x, we want to use um, negative um, input view dot y. So let's go in. Let's test that now. If I hit play. Okay, so there we go. That's already inverted. But obviously we want it to work off of the, the boolean um, instead of actually just coming in here and adding a plus and a minus. Uh, so we'll just cut this out um, and then pop some brackets in. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to calculate this value based off of that boolean. Uh, so we're going to do it in line just to save a bit of space. So um, inside our brackets here, we're going to pop in our boolean. So we'll do player settings dot invert. Um, and we're working on the Y um, and then we'll follow it by a question mark um, and now it's going to expect two values so for now I'm just going to put in 0 
and zero. Um, so it's this value if this boolean is true, and it's this value if it's false. Uh, so if we want it inverted, as we knew anyway, that the inverted value was without the minus, and the non-inverted value is with the minus. So let's just go ahead and test that that works. So it's this y inverted boolean here. So I'm going to hit play and just make sure that that works as, as expected. Which it does, and then if I just go here and tick that boolean, it's inverted now. Which is exactly what we want. So let's just quickly do that for the x. Um, so it's pretty much exactly the same. So I'm going to cut that value, add in some brackets, and let's pop in our boolean. So we got our x inverted this time, followed by a question mark, and then two values. Okay, so um, it's going to be a, the other way around. Um, so if we want inverted, it's going to be negative input view dot x. Um, and if we don't want inverted, it's going to be input view dot x. Hope that makes sense. Uh, if you get confused, obviously just um, either put it in a comment or put it in Discord and I can explain it a little bit better. All right, so if we hit play, You can see left and right is normal and if we tick the little x inverted we can see it is the opposite cool all right so with the camera out of the way uh, let's move on to doing our actual movement um, so the movement's pretty simple let's just go into our model here and we'll create another header in our player settings and this header will just be for movement um, and we're just going to throw a few default values in here. So let's create a public float for forward. Uh, let's just do walking speed. Uh, we'll call it walking forward speed actually. And then we'll create another float for walking strafe speed. And then another float for walking backward speed. There we go, nice and simple. So let's make use of these variables. So let's go into our character controller. Um, so we're going to create a vector three, which is basically um, the direction our input based off of our inputs, um, and then we'll just tell the character controller to move using that vector three. Um, so let's go ahead and firstly. Uh, creates our forward speed. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just set that to zero for now. Um, and we'll have a horizontal speed. I will also set that to zero for now. Um, let's not do forward, let's do vertical. So vertical speed, horizontal speed. Uh, nice and easy to remember. Um, so what we'll do is we'll set the value here. So our vertical speed is going to be nice and simple. Uh, we'll just do, uh, we'll get our player settings. And we'll grab his walking speed. And we'll times that by our input movement dot y. Um, and then again times that by time dot delta time. Okay, so that's grabbing our vertical speed, and you can probably guess what we're going to do for the horizontal speed. <laughs> so it's going to be similar to this, so let's grab our player settings, and have our walking strafe speed, times that by input underscore movement dot x, and then times that by time dot delta time. So now we have our vertical speed and horizontal speed. Uh, obviously bearing in mind we haven't calculated our uh, walking backwards yet, but we'll do that later. Well, let's just make use of these. So we'll create a new vector three. So we'll just call it uh, movement. Uh, let's just call it movement speed. And then we'll say that's equal to a new vector three 
Um, and let's just give it some values. Uh, so we're going to say the first value is vertical speed, nothing on the Y, and we'll do horizontal speed here. Okay, so now we need to tell the player to move uh, dependent on this. Uh, so let's just create a reference to our actual character controller. So right at the top, let's do a private character controller. Um, and let's just give that a value in the awake. So we'll just get component character controller. Okay, so what this is essentially doing is we're setting that variable to this game object dot get component, and we're getting the character controller attached. Um, so now we'll just use that component. So down in our calculate movement, we'll do character controller dot move. And we'll hand it this vector 3. So this will present an issue, but I want to show you the issue first. Um, let's also make sure we have some default movement speeds set up. So walking forward speed, we can just set that to 4, walking backwards to 2, and strafing to 3. Um, so let's hit play and take a look at that. Okay, so you see we can move forward, backwards, left and right. Um, it looks like I've got the horizontal and vertical the wrong way around, so let's just quickly go in and change that. Uh, so it looks like vertical is on this side of the vector 3 and horizontal is at the beginning. Just like that. Let's just double check the that there's no rotation on the camera holder and no rotation on the camera. Yep. Alright. So Let's hit play. Okay, so we can move forward, backwards, left and right. So nice and simple, except you'll see if we move the camera, the forwards and backwards, left and right now becomes, um, it doesn't do a relative from the player. So to make a relative from the player is actually very easy. Uh, so we'll just uh, assign this a new value. So new movement speed equals um, and then we basically wanted to tell Unity to calculate it relative from the player. So we can do transform, um, and then we can do dot transform direction. And then it's expecting uh, the vector 3 that we're trying to make relative, so let's just put new movement speed back in there. Cool. Alright, so now this is relative to the player's rotation, so let's go back into Unity and hit play. And you can see now I can actually walk around and it'll be relative from my player. Cool, nice and simple. Um, we'll go into a little bit more detail in the next tutorial where we'll actually add some gravity and jumping to the player um, and we'll actually get our backward speed working. I'll also make it a nice smooth transition between the movement speeds because right now it's uh, constant, constant speed um, which might not look too good. Um, so yeah, uh, hit me up on Discord if you need some help, um, and if not, make sure you subscribe, ready for the next episode, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.